my conscience You sound like Welcome back, YouTube. It is uh, a lot, it's been a lot longer than I would have hoped. Uh, with me, I got Ethan, Leo's so, roommate. Uh, we're going for a little run. We're gonna meet another guy, Kogan, from my CS class. But um, I wanna provide a little bit of a reason as to why there hasn't been many videos. It's probably what you guys could have expected. Uh, it's, the workload has proven to be more than I anticipated, but that's not necessarily how it has to be. Uh, they recommend taking for their for the San Francisco 12 units for the first quarter as your freshman year. Uh, but I decided to take 17 because I could not fathom the possibility of having to be below the average I need to graduate because you need an average of 15 every quarter to have enough units. So I could just, I in my head, I just did not want to set myself up and be behind. I hate procrastination, so um, I had to go with 17 and be a little bit ahead. So it's been a lot more work, but finally we're able to pump out a video and I think we're gonna find ways to get some more out for you guys. So it takes a bit of adjustment for sure to get the hang of it, but we are very excited to actually be producing videos again for you guys. Um, for now, let's get started with this run. I'll explain a little bit more about what this video is, what we're doing, what the situation is in a minute. But for now, uh, let's just start running. Absolutely. Wow. Go to Uber Tower. It's just like, I just picked up Kroger. Back to it. Okay, so we have finally made it to Tacoma. Um, that's in Washington, right out of, outside of Seattle. This is the hotel room. I'm with Cole, he's in the bathroom right now. But um, as you saw from the clips, we decided to dress in suits. We figured it's the very last Pac-12, so we might as well do it up and really dress up for it. So uh, yeah, it was fun, it was exciting. Everyone looked at us weird in the airport, but it was cool. Um, you probably have noticed at this point that Leo is not here on the trip and that is, don't worry, he's all right, but it is because a couple weeks back, his appendix actually burst. So he's been, he was out for running for a little bit and he's coming back into it, so he's not quite ready to race. So he is not traveling with us here to pack 12s but don't worry, he's fine. And he's looking forward to the rest of the season. So <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, we're about to get started for the run. It's, I don't have my watch on. It's 4.09 right now, so we have six minutes so we're supposed to meet. We're gonna run probably six or seven miles because I already did five this morning and I'm trying to get in maybe like 12 or so. So yeah, we're gonna meet pretty soon and run around the water, hopefully get some good stuff in. Uh, the guys have been here before so they have a route, but yeah, it'll be fun. Oh, I got, I finally got the GPS.
I'm just giving an update before I close it out for the night. It is 9.05 p.m. Uh, and we're just doing some work. I'll probably go to bed in about an hour and a half or so. But um, yeah, we finished up. We got some dinner. I had some pokey. It was all right. Uh, but <laughs> Cal waited three hours. Yeah, they, they did not have a good experience with the dinner. Terrible. Yeah, it was. Did not go to Zeke's Pizza. <laughs> I think it was 90, 90 minutes before you got any food. Yeah, so good. not ideal, especially when you're like coming off a whole travel day and you're really, really hungry. But um, yeah, we're just doing some work. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. We'll film the run, show you guys the course. Uh, it should be a pretty exciting day. And then the race will be Friday. So that is the schedule and we fly home Friday night. So that's the itinerary. Let's get to it. Good morning. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually a perfect start. Yeah, that's great. Um, we're just eating breakfast, and we are all very social, not iPad babies at all. Hey, bro, let me play. <laughs> I have to take out a midterm in like 10 minutes, so. Oh, God, that's crazy. <laughs> God, day two, let's roll. Yeah, as John said, we're eating breakfast. Um, well, we oh. ate breakfast, and now we're just going. Go, go, go. They're playing Enjoy. FIFA Mobile. <laughs> come, on, uh, come on, come on. We're going to the course at two, so we have a lot of time just to kill at the oh, hotel. I'll probably nice. start trying to tackle my my computer science uh, <laughs> assignment for this week. Brain it's, damage. Yeah, it's. I've been warned that it's the hardest one. It's recursive <laughs> backtracking, and it seems really scary. But <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah, for bro, it. So, so no, yeah. Fine, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, you don't know unless you try. So let's. Let's just do it. Uh, we we are now walking to get some food. It's I think Jimmy John's is where we're going. It's really bright out, and I forgot to put the ND filter on, so I apologize in advance. But hopefully it looks all right. Uh, the Fuji usually has a does a good job at taking care of it. Terrible videographer out here. Yeah, I know, I know. I made a mistake, so but it's all, okay. Do I look all bundled up and, and cozy. I, yeah, you do. He's got the real New Yorker vibe with like, hey, you, hey. you look like you should be out in like 10 degrees, hey, I'm but you're ac it's actually only like 45 or something out, so we're actually overdressed, but this is the only big jacket I brought. If I weren't wearing, if I wasn't wearing this, I'd be cold, so you kind of just had to go all the way, but it's actually really comfortable. Like, this temperature feels nice with the sun and like the cold air, no wind. It's pretty, pretty beautiful Ooh, out. Hey. How's the sandwich? It's good. Kind of hard to get the wrapping off, but it's pretty good. <laughs> How's your sandwich? Uh, really good. We're having the side salad, pasta salad right now. It's so tasty. Yummy. Green drink. All right, uh, we just pulled up to the course. This might be one of the most, this might be the most beautiful cross country course I've ever seen. It's Chambers Bay Golf Course. I'm 95% sure that I've played this in WGT Golf on the computer before. Shout out Aaron Cantu and Braden Seymour. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually so crazy. You're right on the water. There's like this bluff where there's houses, there's tons of trees out there. I'm hoping to get the drone up. I think I might be able to find time. If so, we're about, we're gonna be in for some really nice stuff. But for now, it's about running the course. Probably gonna do six miles, just run the whole thing. Uh, but it's looking really nice. I think, I think I'm gonna enjoy this course a lot. Oh, it's 
technology. What did you think about the course? I thought the course was beautiful, bro. So awesome. Zen, what did you think? Four loops of goodness. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Get my hair cut. Alright, here we go. We're going, we're going on the vlog, vlog jog. We gotta catch up to the boys, but I'll let uh, I'll let Alex take it back. You got it? Yep, I got it. Watch. Alright, we're going. So as you guys were watching this video and as I'm editing it, I realized I never actually shot a real conclusion to the video. And I wanted to do that because it was a pretty significant race. It was a really fun trip. And I kind of wanted to wrap up my thoughts around that so you guys knew what we got out of it as a team. It was, well, traveling was pretty fun. It was cool to finally have a trip where you traveled on the West Coast as opposed to going to Wisconsin and Virginia where you have these long flights and really long, you know, like 12, 13 hour travel days. So to be able to like, say leave the the race at like four and get back here around eight or nine was really awesome uh and besides that looking at the race itself it was a phenomenal race i mean i would say the results were great it still wasn't i, I say i don't think it still was uh anything close to what we could do on like a really really great day like i personally did not feel great during the race but i was able to push really hard and still come away with a result i'm proud of which is a good thing considering that i don't think that's exactly where we would be on the best day like i think that day was good but not one of the best circumstances so i think there's some forward some upwards mobility there with that uh team wise it was pretty cool finishing fourth on the team we had Kai, then Cole, then Rob. Rob had a fantastic race. He really clutched up for the team. I mean, he was, he went out really hard, then he kind of dropped back a little bit, but then he got resurrected and kicked it in so 
so well. And then I was in fourth, and then Evan was in fifth. It was pretty good team performance. It was uh, really nice, especially coming after some less than ideal races early in the season. But yeah, the team we, I think it was by like nine, maybe eight or nine points, we pulled away with the victory. So the last ever Pac-12's title, which is really significant. And even though I've only been here for, you know, two, three months, it's still, you, you can feel the weight that that carries. It's really, really cool to have had now the most ever Pac-12 victories as well with 17 over Oregon 16. And that's really cool to bring that kind of legacy to Stanford because as you can tell from 17 victories it is a pretty long-standing legacy and I think the announcer even said it Stanford had never lost a title in Seattle so we up upheld that which was pretty cool and on top of that a couple days later they released the Pac-12 awards Santos, Coach Santos, he got the Men's Coach of the Year. Kai got the Men's Athlete of the Year. Amy, she got the Women's Athlete of the Year, the Women's Freshman of the Year. And I got Pac-12 Men's Freshman of the Year, which is pretty cool because I didn't think I was going to, but I was, I was really, really stoked with that. It's definitely an honor, and it's cool to have something like that on the freshman year resume so far. But um, besides that, it was really, really fun team trip. We had a, I mean... From running on the coast, seeing the crazy ships, to, to like eating some interesting but good food, and the course was just beautiful, and the views of like the ocean. I've never, I had never even been to Washington, so it was, it was a really, really fun experience, and it definitely ignited a spark that not had been absent, but had been dormant for a little bit in me and Leo just in producing videos as we've been so focused on our training and our schooling that it was kind of, it's been kind of hard to get that going. But now producing this video, it's like, I can't believe I had gone so long without producing one for you guys. So yeah, needless to say, many more videos are coming and they are going to be very fun, very interesting and very soon.